So I want to say, first and foremost, that I will be putting up a Google book haul before this half of the month's vlog will be up, but it is from like February, so I might look a little different. My hair might look a little bit longer than normal now. Um, and I just want to let you guys know that it is an older video. I just forgot about two videos that were on my computer and I just now realized that they were there. And so I do have some videos that I'm going to be putting up. I'm also working on a cleaning video. However, another however, um, it's going to be a quick cleaning video because everything mostly is clean, uh, except for the, like, the living room and the, around the computer spot. So I will be, um, vacuuming also in the video, but not in this room because this room has already been vacuumed like two days ago. So I'm not going to vacuum it again until like a, another week goes by. Or, or or a week goes by. I usually vacuum once a week. And, uh, so you won't be seeing me vacuuming and cleaning everything, but it might be a little bit long because now that I think about it, the living room is a mess. It's a hot mess, and so is the bedroom. <laughs> so, uh, I'll try to film a, it a little bit longer. And sorry that it's flashing lights. Pluto is on TV right now on from the PS5. And it's just flashing lights right now because it's going to the next show. And it's waiting for the time to catch up with it. But, so, that is what's going to be going on. I do not know if the cleaning video will be up before this video is up. If it is, then you already seen that I've kind of quickly went through the, the kitchen space-ish, dining room space a little bit. And then everything else probably is going to be normal cleaning. So it should be simple. Um, I'm just going to do a voiceover. i got to work on Between Monsters and Men. Over the last two weeks I haven't. I just I haven't done anything but game. And I'm not even filming my gaming anymore. I need to do that again. some Somehow, some way. At least on the computer because that's what I've been playing my games on mostly. Is on the computer. I am reading... Um, since last month has come by... I put back the book that I was reading last month because I didn't finish it by the end of the month. So I usually switch books by the end of the month if I haven't finished it one. Because then it's showing that I'm not currently reading it to the extent I could be. So I put it back in the jar and I pick out another one. So currently I'm reading What We Harvest by Anne Freystat. Stat? Freystat? Looks like this. I'm not far in it. I just started it last night. The writing is odd to me. It's her debut uh, novel, so it's to be expected. Sometimes debut novels um, aren't the, the greatest, but they're still good. Some of them are like fantastic. Some of them are just like, okay, I can tell this is the first novel you've written. But um, it's interesting so far. I don't know how I feel. Like I said, I'm only a few pages and I'm not even past the first chapter. So I can't give you a definite on how it is. I just wanted to say that the writing is a little strange to me. I'm still reading Atomic Habits by James Clear. And I'm also reading At Night with What We Harvest. Writing Fight Scenes by Rain Hall. Like this. I, as you can tell, I already have notes already, uh, stashed in it. And that's because I'm wanting to write my fantasy book right now. <laughs> uh, my, well, a couple of my fantasy books. And I need to know more things about fighting and a whole bunch of other things I need to research on to uh, best write the books. So I'm doing a lot of research right now on fighting and genres of fighting, like sword types, daggers, quick and personal, and guns for last prayer for humanity. So I'm trying, I'm reading all these books around the same time. I'm reading Atomic Habits during the day and these two books at night. I switch off depending on the chapter. If I finish one chapter, I go to the, the, the other book and then I finish that chapter and then I go to back to the other book. You know what I'm saying? That's how I've been doing it. Um, this was in one of the books. <laughs> the 
hold a page. Now it's not. I don't. I don't know what. I don't. Uh, I am still playing Skyrim, but I'm also playing Stardew Valley because there's a new update that has occurred like 10 days ago, 10, 11 days ago, um, compared to this channel, this channel, this vlog, it'd be much longer since the, the last update. So I'm testing it out and playing it a little bit because I haven't played it in a while, especially on PC. So I'm playing a little bit of that and Skyrim. I need to beat it. Skyrim, I need to beat all my games. <laughs> I'm a failure when it comes to this. I don't think I have anything else I need to say. I just wanted to let you guys know that some videos will look a lot older than my um, current ones. And the current one I'm working on now might be a mix between fast and slow cleaning. But I'll try to make it good and editing and everything like that so it's not boring to watch. But we'll see. Look what happened, guys. We found her outside on the streets without a collar. And we picked her up. We don't know what kind of dog she is. We think she's a lab mix. And she looks like, she doesn't look like right now on the camera, actually, that she might be five or six weeks old. We don't know who just left her on the streets or why but we picked her up and um we're giving it two weeks to decide if we're going to keep her or not because um we don't exactly trust the humane society itself so if we were to give her away we would have to give her to someone who we know or a good place to uh, drop off animals that are safe and calm and all that jazz that's if we don't keep her Right now, her name is Sinya. Um, she's a bit of a whiner. <laughs> and she does not like to go outside. Like, it's almost like she's traumatized to go outside. So, and she's not picking up commands very easily. So we think she's younger than she actually looks. Um, like I said, maybe five, six weeks. We got Tyr when he was seven. seven. Six to seven weeks. And he trained pretty easily because he's a German Shepherd. But we don't know what kind of dog she is only that she looks like a lab mix and German Shepherds learn fast but other dogs depending what breed they are can learn very slowly or take their time or don't learn as quickly as other dogs but the problem is we don't know we're going to save up to take her to the vet as soon as possible we have a few big bills coming our way right now so we have to kind of wait um, but, she kept me up for majority of the night last night, but <laughs> that's okay. She's only, like I said, five or six weeks old, and um, she's sleeping right now. And we got her puppy chow, um, puppy food, training treats, calming treats for puppies, um, a cage. Everything costed a lot of money, but... Like I said, we were given it two weeks before we decided if we're going to keep her or not. Um, she's not potty training easily because she's, she's afraid of going outside. Whenever I take her outside, she crawls in between my legs and whimpers. Like she's afraid to go outside for some reason. But I'm trying to get her to get used to it so she can go potty outside. But it's hard. I have to re rewatch the training videos I watched when I was taking care of Tear. And see if that'll help. But I just want to update you guys on this so you guys have an idea of why I might not have a video up right away because puppies are very much like infants. <laughs> um, you have to take care of them as much as you can when they're babies. Just to give you a warning, I might be a little delayed on videos, even on Between Marches and Men. So please forgive me. Um, I was working on them before last night and I was doing a good job, but then last night, you know, we found her. So. <laughs> She's a cutie though, so yeah.